If alpha and beta are roots of equations, I mean the equation 2x squared minus x minus 4 is equal to 0, without solving, find the values of this. So this is um, also very simple and straightforward. It's also very simple and straightforward. So the way you solve this, the first thing you have to do is to simplify the expression. Then after simplifying, you also have to find uh, the sum of two roots. Then after finding the sum of two roots, you also find the, uh, the, versus, uh, the product of uh, two roots alpha and beta. So we all know to say the sum of two roots alpha plus beta, if these are the two given roots of a quadratic equation is found by negative b over a. And then the, the, the product of two roots, alpha times beta, um, uh, found, I mean, the sum, the, the, the product is found by saying C over A. So these letters A, B, and C are simply just uh, the, the, uh, the coefficients in this uh, quadratic equation. Like for instance, A is a coefficient of X squared, and then B is the coefficient of X, and then C is simply just a constant there. So if you've been given a question like this one, you have one over alpha squared, then you have plus one over beta squared, then you've been told to simplify this expression. The first thing that you need to do is to find the common denominator. So when you find the common denominator, you have alpha squared times beta squared. Then when you say alpha squared into alpha squared beta squared, the answer is beta squared times one, you get a beta squared and then you have plus, then you have a beta squared into alpha beta squared. The answer is alpha squared times one, you get alpha squared. So when you simplify this further, you are going to have something like this. The denominator, this one, you can write it as alpha beta. Then in brackets, you square outside. Then for this one on top, you can just rearrange it and write it as alpha squared plus beta squared. So we know the value of alpha, uh, alpha times beta, which is just found by using this. So that is how you, okay, let me just do this. Let me find them in advance. So I was saying alpha plus beta is given by negative B over A. So in this case, our negative B we say negative and then our B is negative one and then over my A is two. So the solution to this is one over two. And then alpha times beta is simply just given by C over A. So C there is negative four and then my A is two, which gives me negative two. So we know the value of alpha times beta, which is just negative two. But do we know the value of alpha squared plus beta squared? We do not know. So how do we find that? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to quickly just show you how to derive that so that if you are given alpha cubed times, I mean, plus beta cubed, you also know how to derive that, like what is here. Yeah, so we're going to say alpha plus beta, then we square this. So squaring this means that we're, we're having something like this, alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta. Then here we have to multiply alpha times everything this side. So I'm going to say alpha times alpha plus beta. Then we say plus beta times alpha plus beta. Then from there, we can multiply everything. We say alpha times alpha, we get alpha squared, then plus alpha beta plus alpha beta plus beta squared. Then from there, we can rearrange everything. We can say alpha squared plus beta squared. And then this alpha beta plus alpha beta, we're getting two alpha beta. And then this side, don't forget that we still have alpha plus beta squared. So I'm just going to take this part to the other side of the equal sign so that we just remain with this part. So I'm going to say alpha plus beta uh, squared, then minus two alpha beta is equal to 
alpha squared plus beta squared. So you can see that this part I have here is exactly what is the numerator there. So what the numerator there can be replaced by uh, what I have here, where is it? This part here, which is alpha plus beta squared and then minus two alpha beta. Oh, yeah, minus two alpha beta. Then we say everything over alpha beta squared. So at this point now we can replace the values because it's now straightforward. So replacing the values, we're going to have one is alpha plus beta. I'm going to put one over two. So I'm going to say one over two squared. That is the squared I've put there. Then say minus two and then alpha beta is simply just negative two. And then we divide everything by alpha beta squared, which is simply just negative two squared. So we can simplify this further. Uh, when you simplify this further, it's going to give us one over four, then plus uh, four, one over four plus four over four. So when we add these, um, you get uh, 17 over four divided by four. So 17 over four divided by four is simply just 17 over 16. So this is the solution to the first part, which is this one. So even solving these others, it's just the same. So I'll not solve everything. I'll just pick random, random ones, and then we do them together. Okay. So these things are simple and straightforward. Okay. made a mistake of uh, rubbed alpha plus beta, which is, um, this one gave us one over two, then alpha times beta gave us negative two. So this part here can also simplify it. We have alpha plus one, and then we also have beta plus one. So when you multiply this, you're going to have alpha times beta plus one, then plus one, then we have our uh, beta plus one rather. Then alpha times beta, we get alpha beta plus alpha. Then we also have uh, one times beta there, we get beta. Uh, one times one plus um, one. So while this alpha, while this alpha beta we can just replace, replace negative two there. Then one is alpha plus beta, you can just put half. Then you also have this one there, you add it this side. So negative one plus one, we get uh, rather negative two plus one, we get negative one, then plus half. The solution will simply just be negative one over two. So this is the solution to um, to this expression. So this one, I've already solved it. Remember the expression for this was simply just alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta, meaning you're just going to replace your alpha plus beta there and then alpha beta there. Then this one, if you want to find the solution to this one, simply say alpha plus beta cubed is equal to Remember, this can also be written as alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta squared. Then alpha plus beta squared was found to be what? You just take this part to the other side of the equal sign, meaning you have your alpha plus beta squared as um, alpha squared plus beta squared, then plus two, alpha beta. So this is what you're going to have. So that's what I'm going to replace there. So to find my alpha plus beta cubed, I'm going to have um, alpha plus beta, and then I'm multiplying everything with um, 
uh, alpha squared plus beta squared plus two alpha beta. So now you can simplify this. So when you simplify this, you're going to have alpha times everything here. You get alpha to the power three plus alpha beta squared, then plus two alpha squared beta, then plus beta times alpha squared, this will be alpha squared beta, then plus beta cubed, then plus two alpha beta squared. So alpha plus beta cubed, this would be, um, we can rearrange this and pair the like terms. So we can see that we can add this and also what? So we can add this and, um, okay, this part can also can be added to, let me see. Have I forgotten? Oh, this one. So you can add that and that to get. Um, okay, let me just let me first pair alpha cubed and beta cubed. So we can say alpha cubed plus beta cubed. And then we also have this plus that, which will give us uh, plus three alpha beta squared. And then we also have this and that. When you add them, you get uh, three alpha squared beta. And then from here, we can now just take everything to the other side of the equal sign so that you just remain with this part, which we're looking for, which is just this part. Okay. So when you take everything that side, it means that we're going to have alpha cubed plus beta cubed being equal to um, alpha plus beta cubed minus alpha plus beta cubed. Then we say minus uh, you have, when you take everything to the other side of the equal sign, you have uh, minus three alpha beta squared minus uh, three alpha squared beta. So you can also simplify this further than this by factoring out uh, three alpha beta. When you factor out three alpha beta from the expression, you're going to have something like this. Let me write it somewhere. So when you factor out, you're going to have your expression for this as um, alpha plus beta cubed is equal to alpha plus beta cubed. Ah, what have I written? Okay, I'm supposed to say this this is equal to alpha plus beta cubed, then minus, when you factor out three alpha beta, three alpha beta, you open the brackets. In the brackets there, you're going to have um, alpha plus beta. So this is the simplest, this is a simpler version of this expression. Yeah, so that is what you just required to do. Meaning while there's alpha plus beta there, you can replace with half. While there's alpha times beta there, you can replace with negative two. I'm sure this is straightforward. And from what I've explained, do we need to do another question? Because what I think is that I've explained most of the concepts that are needed here. Okay. Do we need to do another question from here? Maybe we do one for fractions. Or oh, like which one? Choose from the ones that are here. Um, we can do question eight. Question eight, all right. So question eight is straightforward as well. So, this one, the first thing we do, we find the common denominator. So uh, when you find the common denominator, the common denominator will be two alpha plus beta multiplying with alpha plus 
to better. Then when you say this into that, you remain with that times one, you have alpha plus uh, two beta. And then you also have plus, uh, plus two alpha plus beta. That is when you simplify the fraction, which I believe most of you know how to do it. Then from there on top there, we can rearrange everything. We can put alpha and beta together. And also we put two alpha and two beta together. So what this means is that we're going to have alpha plus beta there. Then we can put them in brackets. Then say plus. You can also factorize two out of that. Or let me say first two alpha plus two beta. Then everything over. When you multiply these, you're going to have uh, two alpha times alpha there. You get uh, two alpha squared. Then two alpha times two beta, you get plus two, I mean, four alpha beta. And then you also have um, alpha times beta there, you get uh, alpha beta. Then the other part you are going to have is beta times two beta, which is two beta squared. So the, denom the numerator there can also be simplified. We can say this will be alpha plus beta, and you say plus two alpha plus beta after factorizing the two there. Then the denominator will be, uh, you can also pair what, what you can uh, put together to find the solution, to simplify your solution. So meaning you can put these two alpha and two beta together. Then you can also add this part and that part. So you're going to have two alpha squared plus two beta squared. Then you also add four alpha beta and alpha beta, which gives you five alpha beta. So when you simplify this expression further, of course the numerator is already simplified. You just have to replace where this alpha plus beta you put half. And then the denominator there, so let me first write the numerator. So for this one, I believe you can even add them. Yeah, you can just say alpha plus beta plus two alpha plus beta. You can just put a three there. You will still get the same answer. You can just do it this way. Because this part is alpha plus beta. This one is two alpha plus beta. You can easily add them to get, um, get three alpha plus beta. And then the denominator there, you can factorize two from there, meaning you remain with alpha squared plus beta squared, and then plus five alpha beta. So this one is now simple. While there is uh, alpha plus beta there, you put half. Then while there is alpha times beta, you put negative two, which is this part, you put negative two, and then you find the solution. And then at this part here, Remember we said alpha squared plus beta squared is found by alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. So you can first simplify this expression if you want. You replace what is alpha plus beta there uh, with a half and then what is alpha times beta with negative two, which is that part. Then once you do that, you find the answer. Then that answer you're going to find, come and replace it there then simplify the whole expression. Is this difficult? We move on to the next question, right? It's clear. Yeah, so the link is about to, okay. you can, you, you, you join, you just have to join. Uh, okay, we'll use the same link. We, have, we just have to join again using the same link when this one ends. Yeah, so that we proceed with the next question.